increase in the price of goods primarily caused by the pandemic and supply chain issues. But now with tensions rising between Russia and Ukraine, the cost of gas could also see a sharp surge. Yeah, Sharin talked with an economist. She joins us live now from the newsroom with more. Yeah, guys, more mixed messages from Moscow today. On one hand, there's a declared pullback of Russian forces from Ukraine's border. But on the other hand, there were cyber attacks affecting at least two private banks and the defense ministry in Ukraine. And these tensions abroad could have a direct impact on our cost of living here in the States. Oil prices have jumped well above $90 a barrel in recent weeks, and that number could continue to climb. Russia is the world's second largest producer of oil and natural gas. I spoke to a financial expert tonight about the state of the economy and how these tensions could impact us here. I do think if we get to the point of a real invasion where Russia goes into Ukraine and the United States comes back with very severe sanctions, that has the potential, and I would say pretty high potential, of starting an inflationary impact in energy as Russia then retaliates from the sanctions by cutting off oil and gas into Europe. And that would probably cause energy prices to go very high. There's not a perfect relationship between what oil costs and what gas costs at the pump. But four and five dollars a gallon, those are real numbers that Americans are used to thinking about, not necessarily the price of oil in a barrel. And I certainly think you could see four or five dollars at the at the gas tank and maybe even more. Yeah, the current rate of inflation is the highest we've seen since 1982. Now, Russian state television show tanks being placed on trains, but no word on the number of forces actually being pulled back. In fact, Ukrainian officials expect, expressed expect skepticism about a possible de-escalation. Russian President Vladimir Putin says it's NATO that is threatening Russia's security. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of Russian forces continue military exercises along Ukraine's border as even more fighter jets and attack helicopters arrive. The massive Russian Russian buildup has forced the U.S. to relocate its embassy near the Polish border. So we have to follow this closely, Jim. No doubt there. Shrink, thank you. Still to come here at 10.